In this video, I'm going to show you how to import multiple PDFs into Power Music. Now, many users already have a library of PDF files and they want to import these into Power Music to use it for displaying, for practicing and performing. So I'm going to show you how we would put in these multiple PDF files. First of all, just remind you of the normal way of adding a single PDF. That would be by going to a New Song and choosing PDF here, browsing to where the PDF is, and I'll just take the one here. It previews it over there. You select the pages you want, so I'll select them all, and then you add the selection, and that puts the three pages in here. You can then give it a title, add a title, and then save it. And then you can add all the other information as well, the categories, the libraries, references, um, and so on. So that's the way you would add a single PDF file. However, if you've got a folder full of PDF files, I'll just cancel this. So for instance here, if I go to my documents and into these fold this folder here, here we have a folder of about a couple of dozen songs in PDF. Uh, each one has a title of the file, which is the title of the song, and that makes it much easier to import it automatically into Power Music. So we're going to import this folder full of PDFs into Power Music. To do this, we go to the File menu, and we go to the Multiple PDF Import, and we choose multiple PDF files of one song each. I'll deal with the second option one PDF file with many songs uh, later on. So let's choose that one. It's just reminding you that the PDF uh, files have all got to be in a single folder. So we'll just go ahead with that and it shuts down the editing screen while you're doing this. So the first thing we need to do is to browse to where we have the folder of PDF files. So I've got it in my documents and it was called Songs for Import. What this does then is displays all the PDF files that are in that folder there. Now I can choose to import them all, or I can choose individual ones that I want to import. I can preview any of the songs just simply by clicking on here and looking at it over at the side there. I'll make sure I select them all though. Not only can you import them directly, you can also add various optional details. So let's look at the optional details tab here. First thing you can do is you can set up the default number of pages per screen that you want. Now most people on a monitor would use two or three pages per screen, so you can set this to whatever you want for the default number of pages per screen. Of course you can always change that when you're actually using Power Music just by changing the pages per screen option. At the moment I would just ignore this subfolders option here. It's really for people who have huge libraries of music and they internally want to put it in different subfolders. So if you've got a library of several thousand pieces of music and you want to know how to divide them up into subfolders then you can contact us and it will tell you. But just ignore that for the moment. You can also decide what library you want to import these into. So I'm going to choose a library I've created here, and it's a library called New Songs in August. So that all of these PDFs will be imported into that library. As well as that, I can set the categories of all the songs. So these are uh, songs for use in church, so I'm just going to put them in the church category. And if I wanted, I could put other categories in there as well. The final tab here is the settings, and this determines the quality that the PDF is input at. We would suggest you leave all these defaults unless you really want to play around with them and try different settings. The DPI of 150 is more than adequate for screen display, even on a 4K display. I would not increase this up to 300 because it just means that the songs become quite large files and it can slow down the loading speed. Where you would take it up to 300 is you then wanted to crop parts out of the song and you wanted to keep a high quality in the parts that you crop out. But if you're just importing the whole page of music, leave it at 150. Leave it as grayscale, colour images, unless you really want them. Uh, colour images take up much more space and again can slow down the page turning. And the, the grayscale um, dithering's uh, softening here, this is really uh, in some older music and you want to try and tidy it up and make it look more presentable, you can play around with these values. But my suggestion is you leave the defaults at the moment. So let's go back to details.
So we've selected a folder of PDF files. We've set up what library we want to go into, what categories and so on. I'm now ready to import all of these songs into Power Music and they'll be imported with their title set as the name of the file that is imported. So I'm just going to click on import the songs. And depending on how big the songs are and how many there are, this can take a little while. I know of people who've imported four and five hundred songs at a time and they go away and have a cup of coffee or a cup of tea while it's doing it. OK, and there we are. And we get a report that they've all been successfully added. So let's see then the songs in Power Music. So we're finished, so we'll just click on Finish. And we now go to our library of uh, songs in August. And there they are there, there's all the songs. And they've been imported with the title. And they're in the library. And if we have a look at the category, you'll see the category is Church. Now, you probably noticed that I have actually taken in the whole page of the song. I could have cropped an area of this and only imported the area, but I wanted to keep the information and the copyright information displayed here. But you could have cropped it if you'd wanted. I'm now going to have a brief look at how you'd import songs from a PDF file that contains a whole lot of songs. Not, not one song per PDF, but one PDF file with lots of pieces of music in it, like a songbook. So I go to File, I go to Multiple PDF Import, and I choose the second option this time, which is one PDF file of many songs. It's just telling me I'm going to close down the editing screen. It's going to ask me to browse to where my PDF is. So just give me a second, I'll find that. And here it is here. OK. If I move this across, we can see better. So this particular PDF contains um, a large number of individual songs. Each one of them you can click on and you can display that particular song to see it. You can, of course, just use the individual PDF import and go through and select each one, but this allows you to keep the list up on screen as you go through and select each song. Again, you can do things like set the um, author, the category, and, and, and so on here. And you can also change some of the settings about the quality of the PDF. What this allows you to do, though, is just to put in the first and last page of the song, give it a title, and then add the song. So you can sit with this screen up and go through. So, for instance, the first one here, if we go through it, has got two pages. First page is page one. And the second page is page two. So uh, the first song is that, and the title is All I Am Bird. OK, so I've put in the title. I can now just put in the first line the same as the title. I'll just do that and say add that song. So that's the first song added. I can now go on to the second song, and I see that it's on page three and four. So I go up here and I go page three to page four. Again, give it a title. All my days it's called. Uh, set it title and the first line the same and then add song. And it adds it in. So this is slightly quicker than constantly going in and out of the new song editor to add a song. Of course, once you've got it in, you can then use the editor to do other things like add other information about it, to link audio to it and things like that. This video was about how you do bulk import of PDF. For most people, the important import is from the multiple files of PDF, because that's how most people have their music stored. And you can bulk import the files into Power Music as long as the title of the PDF file is the title of the song you want to use. The second thing I showed you is a slightly different thing, and that's where you're extracting songs from a large PDF with maybe dozens or even hundreds of individual songs in it.